sometimes you'll need to add more rows of data to your data set, um, it, it, uh, which is what we'd call appending data. So for example, we have um, a, a deaths database that has deaths ranging from 2005 to 2017, the end of 2017. Well, I just got data that in, has 2018, and so I would like to um, merge the two together or append the two together. So I'm going to bring in um, the 2018 data, and I'm going to make sure that, number one, it has the same columns. Um, they don't necessarily need to be in the same order, uh, but it helps if they have the same names. And then you definitely want to make sure that any that they have the same um, for the formatting. So um, in this case, I'm telling it to import uh, by default set everything to character except for these four that I'm specifying uh, as three as dates and one as an integer. And that's exactly how I imported the, the deaths table that has all the previous years. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing, um, bring that in. And you'll want to spend some time like actually looking at it. Uh, a nifty trick is to do um, names, deaths 2018. You can see all the names. Let's uh, put that, uh, I'll do names, deaths, and you'll see it's there. And they're going in, it goes across state ID, first name, middle name, last name, maiden name, suffix. So you could you could essentially you know go through here and, and check and see if all the same things are there and you'll see that it is very very consistent and exactly the same because I spent a lot of time making sure it was exactly the same um, but th so this would be the troubleshooting that you would do uh, before you'd proceed any further uh, so but once you have that then we can put the two things together using um, uh, bind rows so we can tell it um, uh, we can tell it to make um, we can make a new data frame or we could overwrite one of the existing data frames. In this case, I'm going to make a new one. So I'm going to say 2005-2018. Or maybe I'll shorten that and say 05-18. Um, assignment operator. And then you'd say um, bind rows. And then you list um, the two tables that you want to um, bind together. And that, that's all you really need to do. And it should put them all together. So um, one of the things you can quickly check is you should have the same number of variables. Yep, 33 variables, the same as the two that we merged. And then your total observation should be uh, the two of them added together. So in this case, 3807 plus 160. So we do have. Um, the, the correct number of variables and the correct number of columns that came in. Um, what the th nice thing about bind rows is that it's it's uh, fairly um, uh, it, it it doesn't doesn't hurt you for ha if if something doesn't quite work it, it doesn't quite match. So for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna muck with my data just so you can see see this the deaths 2018. I'm going to um, mutate or rename a column. Let's rename um, injury date. I'm going to call it injury DT, injury underscore date. So it's going to have a new name now in um, the deaths in deaths 2018. So now if we look at that names deaths 2018, you'll see injury date is now called injury DT. So now it does not match um, our deaths. Uh, the, the original deaths record, right? So now if I rerun this bind rows, what's going to happen is now I have 34 variables instead of 33. So what happened is it gave me two columns. It gave me the injury date, there's the original for the old data, and then the new data would have the values would be in this injury DT column. So Looking at these number of variables is going to be how you know that something went wrong. If you don't get that match, this is what's going to happen. It'll put your data, it'll bring your data over, um, and it'll put it in a column, but it won't put it 
um, in the right place. The other nice thing is that, uh, let's say the order of these variables was not the same, but they were named exactly the same, then it will um, match them on the name, not necessarily, it doesn't match on the order, it matches on the name. And then the final thing is, is if for some reason you did have an extra column in one of your tables, it will it will include that column. It's just that your other, let's say the new data doesn't have the other column. Um, it just will be empty for those. So it, it is quite flexible. You just have to do some troubleshooting to make sure it did what you wanted it to do um, before you move on.